going on guys? Today we've got more Marvel Spider-Man 2 content to roll that goddamn intro! Now dig on this. Oh, what's going on everyone? Subscribe if you're brand new here. Lovely to see you. We've got a lot of love on the channel and I appreciate it. I eat it up for breakfast. Let's talk about a recent interview by the New York Times discussing the map of Marvel Spider-Man 2. It's very good. So the game's designer, director, Jose Benavidez, I hope I said that right, I, sat, I had a bit of an accent on that, felt a little weird, uh, said his research involved contacting organizations like the Center for Brooklyn History, posting on Reddit groups devoted to the borough, and calling businesses near the buildings he was studying. It's been a lot of living in Google Maps, Benavidez said. If you wanted to get into GeoGuessr, you could uh, even get more better at learning about locations as well but anyway another point of that interview was this designers also wanted to vary the urban landscape ensuring that important sites from the comics like Aunt May's house and Brooklyn Visions Academy were clearly represented another difficulty was identifying where to end the playable area in burrows that stretch into Long Island so obviously you know like in the previous games when you go too far over the bridge it says no come back or we're just gonna kill you off right we're gonna destroy your playstations where well, it's kind of like that right but obviously you know because we're not playing in Long Island quite yet, unless we are, and I don't understand my New York geography. Uh, next, the good news was that Spider-Man became successful, said Brian Interhar, who returns as the game's senior creative director. But with success comes greater expectations. Now, the reason I wanted to put this into the video is because we have been talking about Marvel Spider-Man 2 for almost three years now, all right? Now, it's crazy to think about. In fact, no, sorry. Two years today when this video comes out is Marvel spider That is crazy. Crazy. That's so exciting. Um, but regardless of that fact, I wanted to just point this out because the developers know how much they're going to have to cook a delicious mwah, three course meal in order for us to enjoy the game. So the next thing, everything is very intentionally placed, Benavides said, knowing that there must be plenty of objects to show off the physics of Spider-Man's web slinging abilities. Now we kind of know this already naturally in these superhero games. Yes, they do try and, you know, recreate these areas very well, but they also make sure that the hero's powers and abilities can be identified really well because obviously it's a video game, you know what I mean? be really boring otherwise um one design solution was to plant more trees than you would find in the real New York City. Some changes provide sly commentary with additional greenery and shade in the virtual Times Square and the plethora of newspaper kiosks bordering refugees like refu refugees? Refuges? Refuges. Like Union Square Park, other choices skew closer to reality. Trash cans and heaps of garbage fill the city sidewalks. When there is combat, people like breaking things, reasoned... Uh, Mrs. Chu, right, I, I apologize, it's Jacinda, Jacinda, uh, the game's senior art director. Marvel Spider-Man 2 was built specifically for the more powerful PlayStation 5, which allowed Chu's team to design buildings with greater depth. Spider-Man may see more than his reflection when he scales a skyscraper with some windows that appear into office cubicles and living rooms. This might be the first Spider-Man game where we can be peeping Toms with the power of the PlayStation 5. Can't wait for that, lads. Uh, the team behind the Spider-Man sequel believes it has already found a winning formula, one that whisks players into the superheroes universe by adding a touch of realism and a sucker punch of New York attitude. So I'm assuming we're going to get shot on site. What we have tried to focus on, Intaha, the game's direct creative director said, is respecting the DNA of the franchise without being afraid of mixing things up, which they've said a lot of times before, and I definitely respect it, you know what I'm saying? But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is pretty much the best parts I could find from the New York Times interview. If you want to see it yourself, check the description down below. Thank you all for tuning in once again. I love you all very much.